I'm, I'm not gonna swear on this, but I think we released, I released his first record ever on, on my label True Soul. And it was a Cyrus D production, which is his alias. I was 15 years of age when I first went to a rave in Sweden and it was in 91. And funnily enough, uh, there was this unknown French DJ that played called Laurent Garnier. He was unknown at the time. He didn't have a clue who it was. Um, it was in a kind of gymnastics hall outside the city in some suburb. And yeah, it was, it was very uh, primitive at the time, but um, the bug still got me and uh, here I am. Um, I love playing long sets because that gives me a, a better opportunity to express myself fully. Um, I also like doing short sets and just bang it out. But with long sets, you have a more opportunity to build it and to take people on journeys. Um, preparing for those sets, I always like to be quite prepared and know what I'm doing when I'm playing. So I probably have a beginning and an end kind of in mind and then different folders with couple of different options where to go and um, if you play really long you usually end up start freestyling after a while anyway when you're in into the groove and you read the crowd and stuff but um, yeah these days um, because I'm playing quite a lot um, I think around three hours is, is my preferred set time um, but if it's a good party and a good crowd I'm, I'm happy to do five as well I think the fact that I'm always trying to um, bring my sound forward and, and my genre forward has made it possible for me to stay current during all these years. Um, I don't like stagnation in anything really. Uh, I like taking inspiration from the past, but with a modern twist. I think, I think that's what dance music is a lot about. I mean, it's. Pop music and other music is a, and radio music is a lot about being sentimental and, and sing along or whatever, like recognize, recognize yourself. But I think there's an element to electronic music that always interested me that was about bringing it forward and not recognizing yourself, hearing new sounds, hearing things you never heard before, be surprised. So I think that's what's driving me. I mean, I can't even comprehend that the label's been running for 30 years. It's it's madness. But uh, no, I think I still, I mean, I don't really like think about what I'm going to do in that sense. I kind of follow my gut with the label, I always done. Like, it's just something that I know what it should sound like, being in the scene, listening to what's current, what I'm inspired above, hearing other people play. So I, th I think I just keep following my gut and then um, do I want to more, do more retrospective stuff? I don't think so, not yet. I'm still, I'm still on the hunt for, for the latest. <laughs> The first time I came to Ibiza was actually to play in, uh, I think it was 2001. And I was booked, there was this promoter from uh, uh, Mallorca. Um, I used to run the Club BCM in Mallorca. He, he made a party over here at Eden in San Antonio. And uh, I was playing pretty techno at the time. Uh, so it wasn't the most successful night. Like I was probably not so known in Ibiza and everything. So my first experience was kind of mixed. <laughs> it was funny. Uh, but then in 2003, I came back again um, for Cocoon. And those were the early days of Cocoon, um, who then later on became probably one of the bigger nights in Ibiza for many years. Um, but in 2003, when I came, they were still building it. But that's where I felt more at home. 
Um, I played the main room in Amnesia and uh, yeah, that's when my love for the island really started. I started to come here then after that every year and building my career here. Um, I think my Holy Ibiza residency will show a side of me that is kind of my Ibiza side, which always been a little bit different. Um, I always tend to pay my respect to the island, to the sounds that come from the island, um, to the people here, and, and um, which means I'm, I'm, uh, I like to take people more on journeys, maybe not play as hard and, and uh, relentless as I maybe do in some of the bigger raves around Europe and things like that, but more about emotions and also playing with Eric and Christoph, um, who are both progressive DJs. I think there would be a touch of that in my sets, but still with uh, you know my stamp on it. So very much looking forward to it. So um, I met Eric back in Stockholm in, I think, 2002. And he actually came up when I was playing a gig and handed me a CD. And um, I'm, I'm not going to swear on this, but I think we released, I released his first record ever on, on my label Trusol. And it was a Cyrus D production, which is his alias. Um, and it was called Deep Inside. And uh, I also did a remix uh, on the same release. So. That's how we met. And then, um, yeah, over the years, we just became friends and I always had huge respect for Eric. He's uh, one of the most genius producers in the scene. universe his own sound sticking through to it and um, now bringing you know hollow and the whole visual aspect um, and being so cutting edge with it it's just incredible to see um, and yeah I'm very much looking forward to spend this season with him and, and uh, have the opportunity to play after and with him thank you <laughs>